Hi there, hello there, hi. Today's video is going to be themed around Cineworld, specifically Venom Let There Be Carnage in Screen X. I'm actually quite a big fan of Venom. Obviously, it's a bit edgier. However, since this is my channel and my channel is cute, I'm gonna scrapbook Venom and make Venom cute. First, I had to do my research though, so I took a trip to Cineworld to see what Screen X was. I do love going to the cinema. It's the one place where I can just relax, go on an adventure, get a pick and mix or popcorn, and have a really fun time. And today I'm exploring Screen X. Screen X is a Cineworld exclusive in the UK and Ireland. It's a state-of-the-art atmospheric experience that surrounds you in your seat with innovative 270 degree projection. It's so amazingly cool to be completely immersed in the film and it literally extends the story. I was blown away. This five projector way of viewing films is definitely worth trying out, especially if you wanna get more from your cinema experience. And I got to see the trailer for Venom and it's available to see in Screen X today. And I definitely got a lot of inspiration for the project, which we're gonna get back to now. I had a fun time at my trip to the cinema. <laughs> Good. Alrighty then, now let's get scrapbooking. <laughs> Thinking I want Venom to pop out of the page. Yeah, so let's try this. To start out, I wanted to sketch out what my plans were for each of the projects. So I wanted to do one of the cinema, a pop out of the signature Sydney World Star, a pop out of Venom, some other things, and Screen X. Definitely want to do Screen X. For this project, I used lots of different scrapbook paper, and using my X-Acto knife, I did do a lot of cutting. Here I'm also using a cutting mat to protect my table. Highly recommend getting one of those if you're going to do any kind of paper project. To start out, I am making the Cineworld Cinema. I wanted to make the shape of the building a bit more wonky, so it wasn't just a straight flat edge pop-up. I'm also using a metal ruler to help assist my cutting, which I would definitely recommend. A lot of these things I pre-planned out before I started to cut them. Another recommendation I will make, it's definitely good to plan your project. I wanted the building to have different layers and varying shades. With the window glass, I definitely wanted it to be blue and dark blue combination. And I'm using a combination of different types of sticky tape here. Sticky tape is a must if you're doing any kind of scrapbooking project. It keeps the paper from warping and holds everything together. For the side of the building, I'm just doing one edge to make sure it can fold back down if I want it to. Again, using my double-sided sticky tape, which I cannot recommend enough. And I chose two different tones for the base. One to reflect the blue and one to reflect the tan and blue elements from the building's front. Then we're going to tape on that sign add on the trees, and here's how it looks. Okay, I'm quite proud of this one. How did I manage to make something this cool? How? <laughs> I could not be happier with how this turned out. Definitely a good front page. Next, I'm gonna do the star, and this is purely because it's an image that's in my head, and I feel like it'll look cool, and it did. Very simple unfolding of the star. Next, for another cinema page, I made a cutout popcorn bucket, made some custom film strips, used the inside of my star shape, throwing on that unlimited card, I love my unlimited card, adding in our Venom scenes. And I wanted to make the popcorn be able to pop out of the bucket. It's a very simple pop-up just to cut through the page, and I added two edges to keep it from falling out. For the popcorn page, I did do it on watercolor paper, so I could add some yellow to the popcorn to give it some texture. This one's interactive. <laughs> Popcorn. And now to make the cinema. First, I wanted to make the cinema seats. And for this, I cut out the same shapes about 10 times, one in red and one in black. So I could do a two-tone on the chairs. Then I glued the pieces together. This time I did use glue because there were lots of little pieces. Went for a purple striped base color and a matching purple tone for the wall. Added on my screen, taped that all down, and I also made two side panels for that signature Screen X look. Cut two edges away on the side, added my attachments, and slipped them in. Then here we go with the chairs again. Now that the glue's all dry, I'm gonna put the seats together, and I added little legs on the seats so I could cut through the base and tape them down on the other side. That way the seats could actually pop up and work as functioning seats. Why did I do this? But it's cool, it looks really cool. They actually all fold down. How? How did I do this? How did I manage this? No idea. I, I spent such a long time on this and I don't know why. <laughs> don't know why. Uh, but I've got a mini cinema now, so I'm gonna take it as a win. <laughs> And again, Screen X extends the story, so I wanted to be able to extend the pages, and I love how this turned out. It's such a cool cinema. 
So this is essentially what your Screen X viewing experience would be like. I'm very excited to see Venom in Screen X. I feel like it's a must after this. Venom is out in Cineworld today, so if you'd like to book tickets, you can. And now for the main Venom piece. First I did some doodles just to kind of mock up how I wanted this piece to look. In the end, I decided to go for the classic side profile of Venom with his teeth showing and just looking really scary and cool. So I mocked up my design, I worked out that I was going to need three main different pieces plus the piece for the ton. There's definitely a lot going on here and it took a lot of detail work and care. This was not my first take doing the teeth for example, but here we are! And then for the eyes, I did that on watercolor paper as well, so I could color in some texture later. I painted my darker piece of paper with the black accents, and then we finally get to put them all together! When you're putting this kind of project together, it does look kind of patchy. I did do another side though, so it's all going to be hidden away shortly. And then we put it together in the book! And again with the patchiness, but we're going to hide this all away, so it's fine. It's perfectly fine. We're good. We're good, aren't we? So the question is, am I proud? And the answer is, yeah, I'm proud! I'm so proud! Oh my god! Wow, look at that. Wow, what I do? How did I do that? I don't know. Yeah! Wow! Um, yeah, but let's be perfectly honest. That was hard. <laughs> that was so hard. Uh, yeah, but thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I will see you guys again next time. And thanks again to Cineworld and ScreenX for sponsoring the video. Bye, bye, bye! Look at that! Look at the thing! Look at the thing! The teeth! The teeth! I thought the teeth were gonna be a lot harder, and it wasn't the teeth that were hard. It's, it's the little stringy things. Those were the hard bits. As I said, Venom Let There Be Carnage is out now at Cineworld, and you can see it not just in Screen X, but also in IMAX, 4DX, and Super Screen. Book your tickets now through the link in my description. Look at that. I did it.